CataractCoach.com. Malugan rings can be traumatic. Even with care taken, you can have significant iris damage from these pupil expansion rings. Now, let's watch this case here. Now, obviously, the patient had a moderate pupil. I would just do the cataract surgery with a pupil like this. No big deal to me, but you could do a little pupil stretching. But the surgeon here is going to opt to insert a Malugan ring, and that's perfectly fine. Good option as well. Watch carefully. Here comes the ring. Let's see what we got here. Injecting it, injecting it, and now pushing the distal iris too far into the angle. Retract the injector itself a little bit. No, no, no. You see, you're pushing it way too much in the angle. Retract the injector. The problem is the injector is too far inside the eye. Now, just by doing that, look at that. You've already caused iris bleeding. You shouldn't be seeing the lens bag equator. See the equator lens bag? That's because you really shoved that ring into the eye too much. And now look what you got here. You got bleeding from the iris. Now, this is the larger metal you can ring. It comes in two sizes, 6.25 millimeters and 7. This is the 7. This is the bigger one. The big boy. The big girl. Whatever you want to call it. Now, advancing this thing in the eye, getting these scrolls hooked over the iris. And again, look at the top of your screen here. As you're inserting that in the eye, it just went too far. You pushed it too far. So you got to be a lot more cognizant as you inject this thing inside the eye. Now, here's some viscoelastic. A little bit of iris bleeding is okay. Patient will live. Now, the cataract part, we're going to speed this up. Everything goes pretty smoothly here. There's a system was used, and now we get a rexus done. Look at that good-looking rexus. And keep in mind, this is the 7-millimeter opening. This is the larger metal you can ring. So make sure you get a reasonable size rexus, not too big. Now, a little bit of hydrodissection. There's the lens nucleus. Not too dense. This should come out pretty easily. Fake a probe going inside the eye. And now uh, cleaning this up. Yes, the, the eyelashes at the top of the screen are also annoying me. How did you know? Now, getting a little groove down the middle here. Maybe we're going to do a stop and chop. Let's see what we got here. Chopper going inside. And good job there. Beautiful. Get that chop propagated through. And let's get this lens material out of the eye. So I wanted to show you the whole case. We're showing you the nucleus removal. Obviously, this is at 4x speed. So we'll move this fast here. Video's going fast. Four times normal the, the four times normal speed. Now, again, getting that lens material up. Again, the eye's not in primary. Where are the light reflexes? It's not in the center of the cornea. It should be the center of the cornea. And even it's off the screen a little bit here. See, you're shoving the eye into the, the, the you know, superiorly, which is basically the patient's inferior. Yeah, this is not good. So the surgeon, you need to spend more time getting the eye in primary and working on some basic skills here. This is not good. The eye should stay in primary the entire time or almost the entire time. Maybe if you're getting that sub cortex with the eye probe, okay, get it out of primary. But in this case, listen, look at that. it's all over the place. So again, that's some basic stuff that has to be fixed. Again, we have an anonymous surgeon here, so I'm going to be very frank here and tell you as it is. We're not going to hurt any feelings here. And if this is your video, hey, I'm very proud for you sending the video in. I appreciate it. We're all going to learn together here. But I'm giving you advice from the heart. I don't even remember, I don't even remember who sent the video in, to be honest, because I saved it on my hard drive as anonymous. So here we go. Cleaned up. Beautiful capsule bag. Look at that. Nice looking rexus. That part I'll give you. Here comes the cohesive glasgow fill of the capsule bag. Let's get the lens inside the eye. And now let's watch carefully. Here, let's see. I removed the ring with viscoelastic still in the eye. I think you're better off doing that. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, look at the iris atrophy already. And you've got these patients with these light colored irises. That's going to cause even, oof. There's some, already some, look, look at the top of your screen. The patient's inferior already has some transillumination defects on the iris. Again, not a simple thing. So remember this too. You know, the patients have some t tricky anatomy as well. And so an iris like this is super delicate, super gentle, and you may get issues like this where what can you do? You're going to get some issues there. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Watch that. Watch that one loop. Yeah, yeah, get that above the iris. Eesh, eesh, eesh. Still caught. It's still caught. Don't yank it. Don't yank it, please. Be careful here. Viscoelastic. Visc more viscoelastic, please. More OVD, please. More OVD will help you so much. Mm, don't just yank it. Okay, yeah, there you go. More OVD, maybe. No? Okay, just lifting it up. Again, OVD would be so helpful here. A little viscoelastic just to kind of deepen things, pull the iris away from that lens scroll here, that loop. Oof. Okay, get it out of the eye. Can we get this thing out of the eye? And now you know. You make fun of me sometimes. Oh, cataract coach, he don't like to use pupil expansion rings. He just kind of does the cataract coach trick and does the rest of the eye. Now you know why. There, every time you put in a pupil expansion ring, whether it's a Malugan ring or any other brand of ring, 
There are consequences. Even if you do it perfectly, you still get a little bit of micro iris damage and trauma. That's reality. So again, as you get more and more advanced in your surgical skills, you will understand why, you know, after tens of thousands of cases, I don't use it too much. Hey, check out retinarounds.com, our sister channel. I promise so much good material. You're going to thank me later. You'll say, oh my gosh, Kyra Coach, how come I didn't listen to you for so many years? You kept telling me to look at retinarounds, and I didn't do it. But now I look, and I love it. Told you so.